According to the Florida Highway Patrol, hit and run crashes are on the rise here in the Sun Coast. ABC 7's Marla Spence has more from the crash site of one high profile hit and run crash where the family of the victim recently replaced a memorial after it mysteriously went missing. This newly built memorial honoring a hit and run victim who lost her life last February is cemented in the middle of this median where she took her last breath on University Parkway near Lockwood Ridge Road. The memorial was placed out here earlier this week after someone tore down the victim's original memorial in December, leaving pictures and pieces of memories lying on the ground. The family was told the memorial was not removed by the Florida Department of Transportation, the city or the county. Uh, our memorial is, is there because that's where our daughter took her last breath. That's where her life ended and it's important to have a place to go to besides a cemetery place that you can go and there's just an aura around that location. Now for us, you have a feeling that she's there with us and she's present. Katerina Dickinson, the victim, died over a year ago when her car crossed this median and was later hit by a black or gray two-door car that took off shortly after the accident. Now a year later, a witness has come forward with information in the crash, but that isn't enough. The family and the Florida Highway Patrol are actively seeking answers to solve this crime. There was a, a, an additional description of that vehicle that had a bumper sticker on the back right corner of the bumper was a black bumper st sticker with white lettering. Our hearts grieve with the family. I've recently spoken with her mother and to, it, it's been over a year and, and the family's heartbroken. My daughter did not deserve to die, but let alone die the way that she did at the hands of another person. We're hoping that somebody will come forward to, to saw a vehicle or somebody and it could turn into something that we can find out who hit her. A camera now sits right up in this tree to capture anyone trying to vandalize this memorial. Crime Stoppers, along with the family, are offering up to a $3,000 reward for any information leading to an arrest. In the meantime, Florida Highway Patrol are trying to solve as many hit and runs on the Sun Coast as the numbers continue to climb. I'm Marla Spence reporting in Sarasota for ABC 7, your Sun Coast News.